Praise God. Our God is mighty to save, isn't he? You know, I uh, appreciate that song, the choir sang, Jesus did it for me, he can do it for you. And I believe every believer here can say that today. I was thinking about salvation. I mean, this is, I mean, there is no adjective to put on this, how vital a need this question is presented to us today. I mean, you just can't underscore it enough. But anyone, and how do you know you're saved? I mean, that's just a good question because everybody's got a, a, a checklist they use, and yet most people are going to stand before the Lord one day. He's going to say, I never knew you. Does anybody want to hear those words? I never knew you when you got it. Well, Lord, I, I did this, I did that, uh, I came to church. And he says, I never knew you. That, and I'm not saying this to strike fear. Folks, we need to examine ourselves. And I'm a, there's a scripture that says, if any man, and this is how you can know you're saved. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. All things are new a new creation the result of that new creation and that new creation is Christ do you know what Christ will do once he comes into your life he's going to give you a new set of values I mean if you're still if I'm still about the old stuff I used to do I know this when God saved me and intervened in my life uh, you know I came up in the in the hippie days many y'all know that and I was interested in all the things the hippies were interested in. And the world had a big glare to me. I mean, I was very excited, enthused about it. I was living large. But when God began to apprehend me and got a hold of my life, he helped, he enabled me to turn my back on every bit of that. And I became what Ron started out with, married to the body of Christ. So here's the question. How much of a responsibility do we feel toward the body? When, and I'll say this. I mean, a lot of people, well, you're late. No. Folks, if you're a new creation, I believe you're going to want to be around the body of Christ. Would you all agree with that? I mean, and, and here's the thing. We as shepherds, God's given us, you know, this was mentioned in prayer meeting last night to pray for. And I appreciate, and I would say these men appreciate your prayers because the word of the Lord to us is first to take heed to ourselves. God help us there. But then the flock that we're overseers for. We've got a responsibility, not when we see things, to turn our back, but to come to you in love. And I trust and believe the compassion of Christ. And, you know, when we see folks just living for themselves, when we see young people coming up, and, you know, there, there's just there's conflicts there. I mean, our hearts go out to you. And I believe God's... One thing we had in prayer meeting, prayer meeting Friday night, God's bringing forth a labor room in this church, folks, where we're going to begin to labor, and I believe we're going to see the results. I do. But being a new creation, I'm going to tell you this, and I don't know if I can say this to get across to people, but it is unbelievable the difference between the old creation and the new creation. I mean, it was just staggering to me because... I thought all of the world that presented itself so large and glaring that I was living for at 17 years old. I mean, that was what I wanted. But when God arrested me, I mean, you became everything to me, the body of Christ did, and being married to Christ. Are you a new creation? I mean, when, as a young person growing up in the church, do you have a heart's desire to sing in the choir? Uh, when these doors are opened, I mean, where's your heart at? I know we've got our excuse book. We've talked about this. And I'm going to say it again because I've got to stand before God one day. And as for putting you under the law, folks, you're saved by grace. You're saved by the blood of Christ. So this is not the law. We're doing something. So it's do's and don'ts. I'm not going to talk about that because we're doing something. But if you're a new creation... Why not be surrounded by the Lord and be right in the middle of what he's doing? So, praise God. Please turn to Romans 12. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, 
which is your reasonable service. That's the King James Version. In the New International Version, it says, therefore I urge you, brethren, in view of God's mercy, thank you, Lord, for your mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. And you know I'm all about worship. I love worship. And in the King James Version, verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the new renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I'd like to reread part of that. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. That doesn't say transform yourself. It just says be transformed. God can do that. When we offer our, our lives and our bodies and our activities and our interests and our goals and our dreams and aspirations, you know, the Lord just, I believe that he honors and respects when we say, Lord, I'm about to graduate from high school. What do you want me to do? You know, when we pray for you young people, we really do because we, we would love to see you be right where God wants you to be whether it's a job or a goal or a marriage, an aspiration, what is your interest. I believe God gives you specific interests so that he can use you in his kingdom and expound on that interest. But he, he is the one that transforms us. Whatever it is, what do we read? You know, what do we fill our spare time in? Not that everything has to be about reading the Bible or anything like that, but when he speaks to us, does it bring us joy? Does it bring us peace and contentment? I love Jesus, and when I read something in here that speaks to me, I'm like, read. I read it over and over all week. 